Why are excessive temperatures so lethal for a child? Both children and adults can suffer from hyperthermia. It starts when the body's internal temperature rises above 100 degrees Fahrenheit. But a child's body is less equipped to deal with rising temperatures. The smaller the body, the less surface area the skin has for cooling off. A child's body temperature can increase five times faster than an adult's. The more humid, the worse the situation, as sweat covers pores that need to stay open to shed heat. In the first stage of hyperthermia, there are muscle cramps and spasms. These cramps typically start in larger muscles and move their way down. Eventually, the tongue protrudes forward. Next is a mild state of shock and profuse sweating. At this stage, blood vessels enlarge as they try to get rid of heat. Heart rate races and skin becomes clammy and pale. A person usually feels dizzy, weak, chilled, and lightheaded. Eventually, blood pressure drops. Less oxygen is fed to the brain, causing confusion, possible coma, and seizures. With a body temperature rise of just seven degrees above normal, serious injuries like brain damage are almost certain. Any hotter, and life is at risk. At this stage, there's shock, and deep, rapid gasps for breath as the body makes its final attempt to blow off heat. With prolonged heating, cells start to break down and tissue swell. The digestive lining breaks down, allowing devastating toxins to enter into the body. And finally, there's unconsciousness. No person is known to have survived with a body temperature exceeding 107 degrees.